Hi, it's night, and welcome to my channel. So I just want to hop on here real quick and do a quick little video. I went to Sephora, and I just got two things. Um, <laughs> um, but I wanted to just try them for you. No, well, talk about one and then try another for you. So there are some products i'm highly interested in can't i cannot find rare booty beauty in stock nowhere it's kind of getting on my last nerve now to be honest with you i don't know if they're just trash at restocking their own product or if it's just really selling out that fast i'm unsure um however before I so I didn't get it to get anything from Rare Beauty, even though that was kind of my goal of going there. Um, I'm this is Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is what I was telling you. I think was uh, this is like my second favorite moisturizer for winter time. <clears throat> so because i finished off my little samples of some of the other stuff i really like i went and just purchased this um i just love this yes i use this as an actual moisturizer i do not wash this off on my face um i feel so ridiculously hydrated um when i use this oh my gosh and i just use so little of it just now like i cannot i love this thing so much um but yeah, so this is the jet lag mask. I did get the small one because we have about like, what, six weeks more of winter. This should do perfectly for me. If I like, let's just say next winter, earlier on in the winter, I would get the bigger one. But I think this is going to be just fine. I'm also not going to really, really hydrate my face like that because guys, I'm about to wash this makeup right off my face. <laughs> it's nighttime i've already been out for the day i've already did what i needed to do and yeah so i'm going in with rare beauties um foundation in 460 w i've been liking this one thing i i think i've said this before i have to shake it though like what you just heard me doing because it is quite um like the it's, i don't want to say it's quite oily but there's quite a bit of oil in this actual product um and I feel like it blends better on my skin if I make sure I like I mix it. And I'm just going to go with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Truffle. Just add a little darkness to this. And then... I'm going to blend this out. Oh, this was something I actually should have mentioned. I think I have like a like a faves for you like I should have mentioned this in my faves I think it's like a, my beginning of the month faves I maybe I did and I just don't remember but I don't feel like I did is these sponges don't worry a new video is gonna drop because y'all this post first of all this posting every day in uh, this month uh, 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 February is um absolutely wild <laughs> and it's only like 10 days in <laughs> and I'm like wow 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 look at that look at that color blended right in this is great um my forehead is a little lighter only because when i did this earlier i didn't put the darker color in it but mm. love it and then next thing i'm gonna go in i mean i guess if i'm wearing rare beauty i do love the up concealers a ton but let's just continue with rare beauty this is a 440 c yes w and c gets used on my face for some reason for me i feel like well i i use to be honest i use whatever i feel like it when i feel like it but for like the center of my face if i want to like a real brightening effect i do typically typically go in with a little bit of a cooler uh color or tone excuse me Typically, I would give it a little time to dry down, but it's okay. <laughs> but it actually still looks pretty good, even though I didn't give it time to dry down. I would love this concealer as well. I think, honestly, so far, Rare Beauty is slapping for me. Although, to be honest, I still haven't got my hands on the freaking blush that everybody be gassing. Just gas, 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 gas gas a -rooney. but you know what that's okay mm, it's okay look at that just brighten up my face so 
um and this is just the regular rare beauty concealer this is not the brightening one although i did see that in the store that is also missing so me i have attitude about that too because um they only have the darker shades which <clears throat> the last two shades i believe i'm going in with um the my fave powder setting powders of all time this is laura mercier laura mercier's power and powder and translucent honey i can speak i promise oh my gosh just look at that butter 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 swing i love this i've been using this for years anyway um on and off for years at least because i also really like the huda beauty one i like that really brown one that's what i usually that's what i usually use in the summertime um I'm just annoying myself because I have the small one, which is fine, but I just need to get the bigger one. I just, here's my thing. <laughs> now that I'm like, you know, I, I have to split my coin between a lot of things. So I just have to, I'm like really, I find myself being very like, why am I studying this? Like, I'm gonna, whatever. Um, between clothes, jewelry, um, skincare fragrances makeup it's just a lot i actually haven't really bought new shoes in a while so like that's not really one but okay because rare beauty playing with my life i went ahead and i'm trying one size i think i tried one size before maybe like the setting spray or something a while a while back um but i've never this is like new to me um i think this only came out like 10 months ago this is um one size's cheek clapper first of, all, first of all the name is absolutely badass okay now after i purchased this i looked up other youtubers talking about this from nine ten months ago okay i did see the skin color okay i did see the different shades of like the models that they used to represent the shades that would best fit however I, to be honest, um, I have quite a bit of blushes anyways. This is really, truly was not necessary. Um, but I wanted to try this when I put, I tried out a couple of them on my hand. Y'all, I, I don't, when the ones I was watching, nobody mentioned how it kind of changes color on your skin, at least on my hand. When I was applying it, it was, I don't know. It's like almost like pH balancing it kind of felt felt like clap your cheeks with three versatile textures and an expressive monochromatic color formula to achieve a blurring 3d blush effect each formula can be worn alone or seamlessly layered for a touch of blush for to a full burst of color the possibilities are endless set the tone your way all right so like i said i saw the models i still went ahead and got this one um because on a honestly on a day-to-day -day just depends but i love the I loved this one, and when I was looking at my other fellow Melody sisters on YouTube, everyone else grabbed the shade that showed for, like, um, you know, the melanated model, and I just wanted this one instead, and so I got it. This is fat ass. <laughs> I love these names. First of all, this is freaking gorgeous. I love the color of it. I this There, there was just a lot of um, thought press that went behind here go to plastic i drop both i love this this is freaking i don't know what this looks like this looks like something magical i absolutely first of all the best thing you can do is add a freaking mirror and your product right and it has this little um tape thing to peel off so it's like very crystal clear um you're you can't tell me this doesn't look luxe i like this like separation thing like almost like a book divide i love this this is this is amazing um the look of it is freaking gorgeous i also like that there is a um cream in here so ooh, my favorite cream blush as of right now is um well i do like the elf ones but my favorite is from fenty um and i ran out of that a long while ago and i never restocked um so i'm gonna try out this one uh, so their names are Turkalicious, Ruiz Bud, and BBL. So a lot of my Melanie sisters went and had it got the red, 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 red palette, which looked cute. But I have red. I don't know. I just wanted to do this one, guys. Okay, and I don't, let me not have to try to force myself to explain. But I wanted this pinky one. So let's see if I can find a clean brush. Yeah. So 
Let's go in with the cream first, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm mushing it up already. I don't know why I dug in it like that and people was over there like, oh my gosh, it's super pigmented. Oh, Lord. Look at that pink. Are you seer? Are you for real? Are you for reals? I love this color. One bite, calm down. Okay. Guys, see, here's the thing. I think... I mean, I like a good red, let's be honest, okay? But I really, I feel like for everyday wear, and even if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I still like a good blush. I just feel like it's just a vibe. It's just hilarious to me, because in the beginning of my relationship with my husband, I did not think blush was for black women. Isn't that so crazy? I laugh at myself now as I think about it. <laughs> Foolishness. Um, so that was Twerkalicious. Now I'm going to go in with Rosebud. oh this is it oh my goodness here's my thing i actually hear great reviews about one size and i just feel like even with all the great reviews i don't feel like it blows up like other products i mean i'm gonna uh, other brands i'm gonna try out more of patrick's um products because um yes but I really want to try that bronzer trio palette because here's the thing my fave um i like to put it on heavy although this is quite heavy but you'll see what i wanted to do with it um my fave blush palette thing is actually black owned um and that is the crayon cases blush binder in my humble opinion this is the best bang for your buck it is not super cheap in terms of just pricing wise but there is like 18 freaking shades in here guys that hold on let me not dust this new something off relax like there is like mad 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 shades in here um and they're big ass palette pans in there um so like when i want a bright like this is a red i would just use, like i really like this red so i just didn't feel like i needed another red blush but this pink one guys i love this pink color this is ridiculous and i think it looks great on my melanated skin you know what i mean now let's go in with um the bbl which is like a highlighter I'm just going to go on with a smaller brush. This is the RT402 setting brush, but I rarely use it for any setting, so I'm done. Oof. 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 Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Anyway, so one of the reasons why I wanted to try a new blush, right? Because I'm aggy like that. Um, but also because while I love the crayon case one, it is quite big, if you saw. Um, so any type of going anywhere type of vibe, um, it's just a lot to carry around. And if you noticed in the last page uh one of them was bus up and that was me traveling with it at some point and it dropped and i think it dropped by some and bus up with someone i had a big attitude um so traveling with it is not the most conducive to your sanity so i thought this look a trio something was great and i also like like i said i want to try out the bronzer trio one these retail retail this retail i think for 38 dollars so 40 bucks basically um which i don't think is a bad price let me just yeah there we go yes i'm one of those people i like to do it like something like this yes i think this is absolutely gorgeous like i said this little screen thing is really this um mirror that they include in here is also conducive to good traveling um so yeah 
but I liked these pink shades. I felt like when I was putting it on my skin, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. It was like almost like balancing in the way that I needed it to be to look so... Um, that did not do anything. Hold on. Like as I rub it, it was getting darker on my skin. Like I don't understand what voodoo magic amaz amazingness and then this was really cool to me too this is some oh gosh i would love to put on my eyes as well in my inner corner i don't really do a full face like this all, um all the time or even most often anymore i used to be my face crazy to the goods all to well to the god like crazy um but um I don't really do that anymore just because my eye picked me and that take my time but today i did put a little effort in it i was feeling real cute okay um but yeah so honestly i liked this one thing i did hear about some of the products was like it's kind of like matte very very matte so we'll see how i feel about that i do but i have worn matte products before but i do feel like if you have a very hydrating base it might not i really haven't had any issues So, I just think I look really cute with this. I love, this is so, like, I love that. I think the aesthetic of it is also aesthetically pleasing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, okay, what is, like, your, I feel like I see on Instagram, like, people doing, like, flat lays of, like, their, their um products that they would use like this like you know what i'm saying and then you have like this like and then you have them like laid down together this is what's in the center of my lips like you can just really make this this is just really pretty to me this reminds me of something some magical girl i'm not sure who this is something like i just feel like i should do I don't know, like I'm going to transform, right? I'm in my regular schoolgirl outfit because, you know, it's always the young uh, teenager women, teenage girl saving the world, right? And I put, put this up, flip it open, and then I would do like a, and then I'd be all of a sudden in like my, like, supergirl outfit, like, you know, save the world outfit, you know, and there's like sparkling and shit. That would be just fire. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like a, if, if I were to transform with this, I feel like I would have to wear like Donna Born and Roma <laughs> type of fragrance. Like, you know, just that very, I don't know, that just womanly fragrance and it's just giving badass. I don't know, something about this is just ringing really awesome to me. But yeah, those are the colors. I think that, I mean, what's the point of uh, Patrick Ta's one size, right? It's supposed to be one size kind of fits all. How um, I'm going to be real so far. This is 120% yes for me. I'm going to get the bronzer. I'll get back to you guys. We'll see when that happens. But yeah, thank you so much for just watching this whole video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, guys. We are a quarter way into 600 subscribers. I think I have literally 625 subscribers let's see if i can actually get to 700 by the end of february that's a big jump but i mean let's just pray on it you know what i mean um let me know if you tried any new like makeup products or skincare products recently what you thought or if you have like some oldies but goodies that you're like girl these are fire. let me down let me know down in the comment section below anyway let me let you go i gotta go shower <laughs> peace love y'all hope that's you in my next video bye bye